Wiener. So if there are young children who or might most, be... Most anybody is going to want to cover your ears. Everybody's going to want to cover your ears, but if there's young children who are really going to be scared, I would ask that you would warn them to shut that because uh, I can't cover my ears. We're going to drop it in here, and we're going to wait. Ready?
I have here some little neon lights. Can we dim some of the lights? Cover now and cover. You see those lights are, are the electric field from that sphere here, the van Gogh generator, is ionizing gas in the in those lights and uh, causing them to blow. Every 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 kind of gas that we know of has its own unique spectrum. That was neon. This is xenon. Now, some of you have fluorescent lights in your house. And if I'm very fortunate, you want to kind speed up just a little bit. There we go. The electricity to light that light bulb is going through me because it's such a long, long uh, current. Uh, I hardly feel it at all. We know that when things have the same charge, turn it turn off, turn it off. Thank you. When things have similar charge, can I have the lights up a little bit now? When, when the uh, things have a similar charge, they will repel each other. So, the current is going to, the, the high voltage is going to go on here, and go through the aluminum onto here. These are all have the same charge. I want you to think in your mind what might happen when we turn this back on. What do you think, make the hypothesis, what do you think is going to happen? Okay. Everybody's got their idea? Let's go. so that the electricity won't go out off of them. If we're lucky, every part of them will be equally charged, and we will see something happen. It may take a little bit. Give your hand just a little shake. Okay, it's starting to happen. Um, I intend to give you mirrors before, so you can see, you can see each other, so. You see what's happening to her hair here? You see what's happening? I can't reach out and touch it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they are good, they are good. <laughs> Yeah, the back's going out there. Okay. Turn it off. 
Now, they're still charged. There's still a lot of electricity there. You can see their hair is still standing up. Uh, we have to let that bleed off, or because they were able to take that hit without much trouble. You want to just touch my hand, and we'll both feel a little shock, and it'll go away. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now some of the sixth graders know what comes next. I'm going to ask for volunteers. I need nine people uh, who don't mind getting shocked. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to count, let me see, I've got maybe 20 people there. I'm, I'm going to just count. Huh? One from each row, I'll let, let you pick them. I, what we're going to do is... Now, the word shock, by the way, people think it just means electricity. Uh, but shock really means surprise, startle. What I would like you to Okay. What you do is stand here. And put your hand on the oh, I put you too far away. Get, get down for a moment. Stand there and put your hand up there. Hold on to this. Touch the metal. Hey. Now make a line on the glass. Hold on to this. Metal. So you go ahead and touch the metal. Turn the face to the eye. Right on the bottom. Go ahead. Because I'm going to give you one on the other one. Right there. Yeah. Touch the money there. Is that good? And okay, right on the cross in front there. Yeah, you made it with your hand. How that works. Oh, yeah. Oh, down there. Who's that? Who's that? Alice. I can't get it to take a picture. Right about. Turn off the lights a little bit. Now the electricity is going to pass through them, and if we're lucky, then we'll feel some shock. And can you see the lights sliding there? Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay? <laughs> I, I don't know, I can put it in front of you. Okay, these people are very good conductors. The electricity goes through them very easily. Do you mind getting another harder shot? Okay, you're going to get two. <laughs> okay. So, the word shock means surprise. One time, right? so, people ask me, will you be hurt? The answer is, you will not be injured. Uh, you guys can get back to your seats. You, you will not be injured if this kind of coffee and this kind of coffee. But you will be shocked. You will be surprised. Okay. Um, that's what we did with the sixth graders this year. After um, the, the, the uh, fourth graders uh, get to see cool science at, the, at their uh, field day. So, any of you who are on this test? Hey, we have, we have a picture of that. We're getting there. That's it, right there. Okay, we'll be back a little bit. The stuff we work with in cool science. Well, let me get, can we have the, the uh, PowerPoint? The PowerPoint? Yeah. We call it way beyond cool. Uh, 
Hit the first one for me. What's here in between my hands? Air. Air. What's air made of? Come on. Oxygen. What's air made of? Oxygen. Oxygen. Nitrogen. Gases. What kind of gas? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Nitrogen. Most of it's nitrogen. Seventy-eight percent of it is nitrogen. Twenty-one percent oxygen. We need the oxygen to live, but there's lots of other things. The one, the zero to three percent water vapor is depends on whether it's real humid or not. And something like carbon dioxide, if you're worried about building up the atmosphere and warming us up, <coughs> causing a uh, greenhouse effect, um, will uh, is is a very small fraction of the uh, air. It is right. So, continuing. Okay, what happens to water vapor if we cool? What happens to gas? It becomes a liquid. And what happens to the air if we cool it? If we cool it enough. They also become liquids. Except you have to cool them very, very much more. I need to go step through the car. More stitchable head. How cold? Very cold.